name is Katherine Steyer. I am an author based here in San Antonio and the author of 17 children's books. Many of them are picture books. So I do want to give a shout out really quick to one picture book since this is Earth Day and since this is also National Park Week. I'm the author of If I Were a Park Ranger, which not only pays tribute to our park rangers, but to our beautiful national parks throughout. But what I'm actually here to talk to you today about is a brand new children's books, uh, chapter book series about dogs. Now, I know there's a lot of chapter book series about dogs, but I want to tell you that this one is different. This chapter uh, series is about dogs with big jobs, dogs like this Great Pyrenees, who uh, I am Jack's protector of the ranch, works as a livestock guardian dog. And I am Ava, seeker in the snow, um, an avalanche rescue dog. And I am Sammy, trusted guide, a guide dog, uh, a golden retriever. And this Jack Russell Terrier, I am Bella, star of the show, who stars in commercials and movies. And I am Sky, finder of the lost, which a uh, search and rescue dog. And I am Tucker detection expert, who's part of the Beagle Brigade. Um, those dogs that you might see in airports sniffing the luggage for um, agricultural items because they are protecting the forests and the farms of our country. So um, today what I'd like to do really quickly is uh, share a little bit about this dog series. I want to introduce you to some of the real life dogs that inspire the books and then let you know a little bit about the resources that are available. And that's a lot to do in 10 minutes, but I'm gonna try. So first the new series. Um, just to let you know a little bit about what each book contains, um, each is about a dog with a big job from the dog's point of view. So they're all, that's why the, the chapters say, I am. Um, and they all take place in one day, 24 hours. So that's a real challenge for a um, author to tell an entire story that takes place in just 24 hours. It's geared to ages seven to nine. It's 10 chapters long, about 7,500 words, and it's abundantly illustrated throughout by the wonderful illustrator, Francesca Rosa. Um, the books are numbered, but they do not have to be read in order. They're all standalone, standalone books. And the first four books are available in paperback as well as hardcover. And then the two new releases, um, these are just in hardcover right now but will probably be in released in a few months in paperback as well. Now, because these are told from the dog's point of view, um, we have a chance to show a lot of personality for our dogs. So in these books, sometimes the dog will have a favorite phrase that he says. One of the dogs in these books, instead of saying, oh boy, when he is excited says, oh pup. Um, most of these books have real recollections of their puppyhood because we know that um, kids like to read about dogs um, when they're puppies. Sometimes they're happy memories of their puppyhood, sometimes difficult memories. Um, the dogs usually talk about their training and their recollections of their training. Um, this is the um, Beagle Brigade member in training, learning how to detect fruit in suitcases. Um, and we do have lots of scenes of exciting adventure, even harrowing moments for the dogs. Um, this is our search and rescue dog uh, on a mission in a national park. Another thing that I felt was important was to include a scene where the dog interacts with a child that would be about the age of our readers. So in every book, there is a, a, a sustained scene where the dog is interacting with the child because many times the trainers, the handlers are adults. So I wanted to make sure that we have children um, throughout the book. This is the son of a dog trainer who is trying his hand at training a dog himself. Um, this is our avalanche rescue dogs comforting a little girl who sprained her ankle on the slopes and they found out that she was a real dog fan, so they brought the avalanche dogs over to cheer her up. 
And then the final thing that I like to do, um, if you've seen stage productions, a lot of times for the final scene, they try to bring everyone in the story back on stage. And most of the books, we that happens as well. This is uh, a picture from the uh, Sammy, the guide dog, and it, this is his graduation. And these are all the people in his life from the family that helped to socialize him to his new partner that he, was, he will be a guide dog for, um, to the trainer, all coming together for a photograph at his graduation. Now, I told you um, I wanted to, to meet some of the dogs. Um, that inspired these books. So I really do work to research these books. I've done a lot of interviews with experts, with hand dog handlers. Um, and when I can, um, I go and travel to where these dogs are working and training. So the first picture I want to share, and I didn't know we could do share screen, so I'm just holding up a picture. Um, this is a Great Pyrenees on a ranch in, um, here in Texas. I was fortunate enough to meet um, Dr. Reed Redden, who is, I'm going to read his title, a Texas AgriLife Extension Associate Professor and Sheep and Goat Specialist and a Livestock Guardian Dog Advocate. And um, he invited me to see his family's ranch. And I could see this dog, this, uh, watch the guard dog in action. And these dogs grow up with these, uh, the animals that they're going to guard. They, as puppies, they are put in enclosures with these animals and they come to think of them as part of their families and that's why they learn to protect them. Um, another dog I was able to visit to research, this is, um, this is Lumen, a lab and pointer mix at a ski resort in Utah and she's part of the ski patrol. She's an avalanche rescue dog. And they put on demonstrations for the public where one of the ski patrol members actually buries himself in the snow, in a snow cave. And then the dog is sent out on a demonstration to show how he can sniff the person out um, and find them. And of course, that's what they do if there's an avalanche. And then the last set of dogs I wanted to share with you Again, because this is National Park Week, this is the Joshua Tree Canine Search and Rescue Team. And I was invited to accompany them on um, their training in the desert and got to see a dog. This is Gunner. Gunner is a um, golden retriever. And Gunner would sniff, he, he sniffed this sock of one of the members who went and had led a trail and hid inside the park and then was able to follow that scent throughout the park and find the person who was hiding. And of course, this is what they do if a person is actually missing in the park. So that is um, some of the dogs that I wanted you to meet. Um, I did want to just share too that this, re this series did receive a starred review from Kirkus and they said that uh, in the first of a new series about working dogs, Jax the Great Pyrenees describes his efforts to protect his flock of sheep through a long, scary night, a thrilling and very worthwhile choice for emergent readers. And School Library Journal was also very kind. They said, canine lovers rejoice, give to all the animal loving readers looking for an early chapter book series to get into. There are free resources for these books at my website at www.katherinesteyer.com. And I really appreciate you taking the time to stop and visit with me today and um, let me talk a little bit about these books. As I said, a chapter book series about dogs, but with some important differences from I think any other book series that, that, that you can find right now. So thank you.